Uh, top lane, life. Just getting chased down. Nice backroom and Ryu with the kick com combination as well. And now the anti mage might not be able to man fight this. And I can I can never make any Wii references with you. That's the the worst part of this. Is Henry, he's going to get chased down here with the. Uh, Commit and, and look at the slow now. This is going to be real no escape once you've burnt out that mana. So maybe Enri forced to go for the early boots. And I mean, Piao is he's ripping them apart. Enri, he's, he's gone. There's another kill going to be picked up for Piao. He's even blocked in from the creeps as well. The A team. You're definitely considering that uh, that item. Bottom lane, Asta. Getting chased down at the moment. They might turn it back on Aaron. One big swing of the sword is going to secure the kill. It's our mid lane. Guy's gonna charge up the Rolling Thunder. Avatar Modi does overstep the boundary a bit, so Pango can bounce back off one of the walls. I mean, that is a huge rotation as Top Yins gets a kill onto Jing, and now he's looking at Enryu as well as. Look at the hero! Who would have thought an anti mage would be three? Able to use that to be able to do more damage onto Lane. the creep wave. Oh, Eren blocks the roll, and now that puts him in a position where Pango. Finds a free opening to the fight. Asa's going to look to show up as well, but they don't have the burst potential for the Lena at the moment. So they're able to get rid of at least the life of the Queen of Pain, thanks to the Wraith King's already level 10 damage spike. But uh, that is a big advantage. So that you've got a, a good front line to be able to deal with a lot of this. Says, Lena uh, Beng. Well, I am always pretty complimentary with a Beng and his positioning. That was a little ballsy for sure, considering you don't have the, uh, the vision on the high ground. Life, just That's getting it. rid of it. Oh. But the fact oh. that life is such a high level, level eight, like what? And now they're gonna Rogan go? McGee, man, the damage. And Ryu, forced to drop down the ultimate. You know the mana voids on cooldown. So we'll put Jai in a position who's got a rolling thunder from afar, but he too already has a Able to turn that into objective. They need a way to be able to cancel the fiend script. And with Yin showing up, they have that possibility. The rest of Rain ain't going to be forced to TP down just to answer this response from Scorpion. Look at so this. They've Chain got issues with how they're able to protect Astro. He doesn't have mana at the moment. The potential ones. And they're going to now force the retreat away as Eren ticks out to the Magnetize. Jai on the Pango. Oh, Astro's pretty mobile it. with the phase. But... Quick shoving in of waves. Lane. Jai is going to look to set up on the Earth Spirit. They've got a really good ward on the back line. They're able to see if there's any reinforcements waiting the counter initiate there and it was only the darks here in a position so quick and easy pick off and back to fun i yeah, it's easy. considering he was almost dead last on my this is in trouble they cut down the t1 tower so they won't be able to tp there no one's coming just yet as well they're completely leaving the wraith king on an island so, i mean that is his first death of the game but this will now open up the t2 tower top and blaine who's getting chased down Aster's on Aaron. Back up in a couple of seconds. He still gets the kill. I don't know how you escape from this one, though. I mean, TA's on the tail you, of the pain clear. You TP so, out once you respawn, is how you escape. Is that Melt going to hit? Okay, yep, they get the damage. Double Melt coming up surely as well. It's going to be a lot. Oh, If he was closer. Setting up. It's actually going to be Jing to initiate. He's back with the guy. Nice play, but he's got the opportunity to pop the BKB. He's going to aim to the Bane to get rid of this BKB control potential. They're still going to be cautious of the timer. Starting to dwindle here, but he wants to play aggressive. Jumping on forward for Enryu. Cutting away the life for the Darkseid. And now they're eyeing up Astra as well. They just took care of the reincarnation previously, so they know there's no round two potential. Try and juke away from the Wraith Fire Blast, but the toggle, not enough. There's Jin's. Flies on over, takes away the life thanks to the mana void. Just like that, you're going to have the Aegis regeneration coming through as well. So TA level 20 has meld dispels. Yeah, going to be quite nice again against the, excuse me, the enfeeble. After they versus UDV, who are on bottom of the table, but I think we both agree they're still a pretty decent team. Surprised with how they are. What's happening top? Maybe this time they'll get the anti-mage. 
All right, they will. A little bit extra control now with Enryu Push being up. around. Bottom lane, they're eyeing this over as well. TP starting to come into play. It's just to support Queen of Pain. But like you said, Roche is up, so they should... Well, they're doing a good job of pushing other lanes, at least. They're like forcing the... What they the found? All right, Ogre? Dive first. Jai's also trying to find an angle in, but he doesn't have any extra follow-up damage. So it's going to target a bang. This really enables at least the other cores to get involved without worrying about the BKP piercing. We're still going to be cautious. Doesn't Ooh, make it no. to the low ground. They've got to kick him down anyway. Uh, you are starting to get to the terror. You negotiate the laning stage, but how are they going to be able to handle the later stages? Jing. Starting the fight on life. Asta's going to try and fly on over to deal with the Pangli on the back line. That's a key component if they can take away his life. Yeah, but he got the rolling up Thunder out fast enough. Now with the rest of the die, committing on forward for more. He's got to run. AM pops the BKB. So got to be cautious though, playing around the wall in a choke point like that. Doesn't give the die side the opportunity to run down the stairs. Now with the backpack, is the control enough? They're burning away the health and they've got it. Yins will He's going to be saying to Asta, like, I know you've got Cleave, bro, but you got to let the me creeps. hit the creeps. Yeah. I mean, Wraith King. Ooh, okay. First life gone. And Ryu, look at the combo. Refresher popped as well. But the overwhelming amount of damage is nothing for Scorpion to deal with. As TA is going to try and turn this one back around. But now the Fiends can put control for a short duration. Might be enough still at least through the BKB as Neon starting to pummel into the Templar Assassin. Exceptional use of the melt. But now Bane gets involved. Drops a brain sap. Takes away the life. And you've still got three heroes on Neon that want more blood. Deep dive. Guys, yeah, okay. okay. Ooh. Frontline. And Ryu is in a position to be able to counter initiate as well, but they, they've got to be cautious if they group well, up. Caught him. AM's going to try and jump on four. That's a high valuable target if they can bring him down. Now, do you think about buying back? I mean, the Wraith King's already lost his second life. So has the ages to look to play around, though. They're targeting through the Lena on the outskirts as well, but they've used all their ultimates, so this is the fight that Neon can turn it back into their advantage. What's the other side, Eren? Not enough control. Onto the higher gun, though. A bang. It will get brought down here. It's just going to be the Templar Assassin along with the Antimage. Actually, hang on, I thought Templar gets ripped apart. Avatar mode doing it all by his loans himself. And now he's got the rest of the team to connect as well. This Lena... So much damage. Screw the changes. You've still got big issues with the hero towards oh, the, the later stages. Now they got the initial control, but oh, the Pango flies in over the top. Just gives the anti mage in opposition to get out oh, to safety, oh. but it might not oh. matter as Asta. He finds the real hero. Now Avatar mode as well is able to beat onto the Pangli. Five ten. Multiple of five. Oh, really? Ooh, mm -hmm. one of them. All right. Roll in, Jing. Oh, roll it to the TA uh, might be a bit of an issue. Got a buyback on Panky. With, I mean, AM still not alive though. It's still lacking the heroes to be able to turn this fight back around. So the Fiend script just gets rid of the Panky is live. That's a dieback for G. And now the Templar Assassin just gets ripped apart. What? What was that damage? Wow. What a turnaround. They call it. AM, uh, good oh. hero, huh? Not even, I mean, that was to be a melee into a Darkseer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Trolls, um, trolls doable. You scale very well into Ursa. That's also a very good matchup versus Darkseer. They have a lot okay. of spell casting. I think Void against spell casters is super strong. Like, that time dilation has got things, but nothing's popping to mind. Oh, Ursa's gonna go down. Jing, couple of leap charges. Going for an early Blightstone as well, which. It was, uh, a couple of Blight Stones interesting for the, uh, the Mirana to pick up his top lane. Oh, we've got a brawl going on. It's dry. They'll trade the life, the Bane, for the Nyx Assassin. Does, did Void get the kill? He did, okay. It was a deep dive for sure, and Void's oh. going to get a second. Hard, I believe, a triple at the Ancients. Jakira? is Jakira. Pin Please back to the tree. The oh! Ah. Nice. Gotta hit it a bit oh, earlier. Just, look at that. Solo? Uh, solo? Wait, how... So you TP in, you've still got the power to up on them. Oh. oh, I mean, this is... I know the lane docks is struggling. He is top of the last hit. How's the net worth looking? Yeah, he's third. You're giving away a lot of kills, and to avoid, that's a rough place to be in, considering how his lane is not the greatest mid. The diving avatar mode as well. I mean, four points in Cypher means they're going to really struggle to kill the Death Prophet. 
Oh, Duke got the arrow. Still no real room for the Templar Assassin to play in until a Beng's gonna hold the back. And an easy way to get rid of the refraction in the dual breath. And now DP, I mean, he's a little bit angry as he didn't get the kill before, so he's gonna try and charge back Sleep. in. Asta's very farmed. All right, let's just drop Chrono for a solo kill. We see the Jakira going down. No, wait. oh no. Oh, oh she, yeah, that's nothing. Cool hero, huh? Bottom lane, another kill. We end with creep wave into, so perhaps just trying to take a lot of the attention away from other areas of the map, make a play more towards the top side. Particularly this faceless void, as uh, we've got an exorcism popped here again by DP, but not really seeing the same level of impact. But Aaron, oh. and that's perfect positioning. You get the bounty, you waste the Reno, and now Ages is claimed, and you can fight. Uh, you not trying for either. Say, so, this is what I was talking about. You can't just AFK in the jungle anymore. Reno just. To... Clips onto two down by the bottom triangle here. And Bang's got the full control, but now with the Exo charged, DP's gonna try and find an angle into the fight, but it is still only level one Exo. Not gonna do as much damage as they're hoping for. They'll get rid of the Nightmare, further enabling the Death Prophet to chase down one of Neon supports. A Bang is biding time though, nice which chrono. gives now Ash an opportunity to chuck out the Chrono, getting rid of the Darks here. And the two for two, you're happy with that if you're dire. I mean, you. Well, it's an offlaner for support. You're trading ultimates. You even get the kill on the Jakiro. It is still a triple void. Uh, you've still got the TA. Like they're well, Avatar very mode. Placed. Oh, they missed the Impale, but he's already used Blink. He's going to look to connect to the rest of the team. They've already used the combination as well for the Darks. But look at the Macropire on the high ground. Choke point. Asta feels like he's there's a winner to take it. the fight, but he's getting burnt to a Chris. A wasted Kono. Now it's going to be an instant way to gap right. close. DP actually gets the yours from afar. There's the ice path that's already maxed out. So this stun control enough to get rid of the life of the faceless void. I've... Oh my. Now oh, down bottom, Ursa. Fiends grip into the arrow combination. I spot again from life. No way. On to two. Even Jai's going to show up as well. Four down across the map. Life. What a stun. Avatar mode didn't make it back inside the base. Refraction's gone. Health pool soon to follow. They don't have Glyph. I mean, you could very easily pop Exo here and try. Blink away. Mana. She's going to run up the higher ground blindly into a bang. Maybe it doesn't even matter though. Eren follows up. Now it's also Jai as well with the vacuum onto two. I mean, they are making space across the map, so they're not getting objectives off the back of this. This top lane Exo is used from the Death Prophet. Which get the kill into the Mirana. Are you chasing for more though? Yes, sir, you are. Eren surge up. Asta's got a time walk in, but look at this by Caribus. Now he's bashed up and Asta drops the corner. Instant tip from Eren. Oh, no, no. Been a good addition to Scorpion so far, at least standing in for them. And Ryu. Reno onto two. Ursa's actually going to look to jump in the middle with the BKBs, giving them a window to maybe turn this around. Remember, Asta, he used Chronosphere previously, so not going to have too much involvement through the team fight. They've lost the Jakiro, they'll trade the life in the Bane, and Ryu's next on the agenda, though. He'll push back the Ursa, but it doesn't feel like that's the big issue. Oh, oh look at the VAC! Still, they're able to reposition. Asta's going to be cautious. I'm walking to the BKB away. You're going to look to buy back on Enryu. He's already TP in, finds it. Oh, nice spear. The T4 tower, so yours has been forced out now defensively. How long do you want to stick around, though? You could definitely double back with Exo in about 20 seconds here. Aren't they just yet, though? Nick's going to drop, and all right, they feel like they've lost too many heroes and the resources are too low. A yeah, nice start. Pages. Might not even force it just yet. Ice is going to try and jump in. Maybe get the life with the... Now, also, Mars actually claims the kill. Avatar mode. Force the BKB and run away. It's a bit of a win at the moment here from Neon. You can't lose anymore. And well, unfortunately, they will here with the Mirana dropping. Aaron? He's looking to do the chasing. Oh, I mean, this is a big target. Okay. BKB on cooldown. So that's an ambitious TP out. And that's such a valuable kill. A straggler left standing. And Zins, can he find another? BKB's traded out. Now they're going to drop the Chrono out of the tower. But once again... Uh, that's a waste of Chrono. You drop Ice Path. If you need Macropy, just use it on the ground. 
Andrew is going to try and find an angle in. Where's the fault though? Yes, Arena Lucky and Fire, but Andrew, he bought back for the last engagement. If he goes down, he'll have no involvement. The vacuum into the ice path. Munjai is doing it all on the dark sheet. Copying Enryu from game one. And now he's like, you can do it, but I can do it. Effect from Macropile? There is, but you can't dispel it. Sure. Oh, Jing. It's gonna end up going down. Eren's doing a lot of damage here. Level 19. Yeah, about Kyra and Sanj. I mean, Eren's popping more smokes. He's gonna try and solo kill a bang again. Blink out. Arena up to the northern side. Life's gonna fall as well, so the trader one for one. Jakira has been very impactful though. And now Asta. Run into Aaron, but the Death Prophet now. Stepping into the team fight. And it looks like that will be a, a way to deter the Avatar mode. Still sticking around, so instantly they're gonna jump. A BKB out from the Ursa. But they burnt all the mana from the Templar Assassin, so not gonna be able to really play around with a refraction or a health for too much longer. The Krona, but where's the answer? Is beating to the enraged beef at the moment, but it looks like a spear out to the northern side here. He's able to reposition. Another use of the Chrono, and they get nothing out of it. Only enough. We've got the damage to be able to take him out. Do get the glyph, What's though. What's going on? I don't know, man. Do they kill DP? I don't know. She's got three Siphon Charges, Halberd, yours. I don't think you kill her. You might just die as well. And maybe a bang TPing through. Siphon Charges about to expire, but now with the status resistance means the control is not enough. So a bang falls, back back after the time walk. They'll even get the extra control just for the cherry on top. Hmm. They're gonna go all in. Yin gets blown up. Another use of the arena, but I mean, we just see the defensive factor. Life, he drops the E-Blade and there's just no more answer. No chrono, no arena, so no team fight involvement. And now Radiant feel like they have free roam of the map. And they had enough. Asta's gonna call it quits, and at the end of the day, Scorpion, it's a big response for them. You know, you threw game one, being able to come back, reset, and perform really well versus Neon as well. Yeah, for sure. I think they're gonna take a